Welcome to PPT Janet. So today we are going to learn how to create animated scrolling numbers in Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So let's begin. So here I'm going to click enter. So I have this white blank slide. So on this blank slide, I am going to insert the text box. All right. So here, this is my text box. The font size is going to be 150. And the font style is going to be this one. All right. So here, I'm going to enter the numbers. Number 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. All right. So let's move to our slide two. Yeah, this is our slide. Okay. Now the first thing we have to bring it to the center. All right. So for that, we go to the shape format, we align and align center. All right. Now press the Control D to make the exact copy. And now I am going to paste the another copy adjacent to previous one, like this. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Now in the next step. I am going to give some animation. So let's give some animation. So we to do the animation tab and in the animation tab we will click the drop down menu and here I'm going to select the light. And in the effect options just select the up. Okay. So we'll start from numeral 1 and you just see where do you want to stop. If you want to stop on number 5 just click on this red circle and let's bring it up exactly over here all right and similarly same animation we are going to give to the other text box also so we'll go to the drop down menu we'll go to the lines and in the effect option, we'll select up. For this, I am going to take this red hat upwards. Till number zero. So instead of one, it should be zero. All right. Okay. Perfect. Now in the next step, I'm going to select start with previous. For the other one also, start with tables. Okay, now select with the animation and place the button. So like this, it is going to happen. Perfect. But now what we can do to the second text box, we'll go to the effect options. And in the effect option, I can repeat it thrice. Okay. And let's just reduce the time. Five point five seconds. So now just note that this blue box for the second text box and the first text box should be same. It means the timing should be same for both the text boxes. So here what we can do, I'll just increase it instead of 0.5, I'll do 0.75 and for the text box 1, I'll just increase the timing to 2.5 seconds, like this. Alright, now let's have a preview one more time. 
So place a little bit. Okay, so for that we need to do one more thing. We'll go to the effect options. And in the effect options, no smooth and and no smooth start. Okay, now let's perfect. All right. Now we just want to hide the number. So for that, we go to the insert option. And in the insert option, we are just going to add rectangle all right here like this and the shape outline is going to be right shape fill is also going to be right just press the control D to make the exact copy and place it here and extend it to the end of the slide like this now let's have a preview once perfect now in this the background is clean no texture is there no gradients are there now see here if for the same slide if i go to the design option if i go to the format background and in the format background i select the gradient um, let's select the gradients color okay pv pink and this blue okay this time these rectangle boxes are looking weird. So what we can do, I'll go to this box and in the format shape option, I'm going to select the slide background text, like this. And for the other one also, slide background text. Now there's one thing we can see there outline. So you select both the, text, both, both the rectangles and go to the shape format and the shape outline is going to be like now let's have a preview once. Perfect. Now similarly, if we want, we can add another line. Okay, so one stands, we can also add for hundreds. So let's select the same text box and press the control D. Okay. And let's shift it to the left hand side like this. Okay, I'll just go here and press enter key. We go up and press zero. For the same here also, enter, go up and press zero. So it starts from zero. Okay, and here the animation which we are giving. So the same animation in the animation be line only and the effect option up but we will just change one number okay. like All right, now just see. We have to do this. We have to select the start with previous option. Okay, now see this blue box. Okay, it is taking around 2.5 seconds. This is also taking around 2 seconds. This whole is taking around 2 seconds, and this one is taking around 2 seconds. So let's increase the time a little bit. Okay, now let's have a preview one more time. perfect but there is one thing we have to shift this text box backwards so we'll put the shape format and send that and let's increase the size of these rectangles okay now let's have a preview one more time <laughs> 